Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to add an outer glow onto your image, object, or whatever you want to add it on. I'm going to assume you already know how to make a selection or whatever, and you already know it's like uh, copy and paste, so you already have the image ready to be selected and add an outer glow. But if you don't know how to make a selection, I already have another video for that, if you do not know. But uh, let's get right into it. Now then. What you got to do first is go to the layers panel and then find the part of the object or image that you want to add a outer glow on. There's two ways to do it. Either you can right click and then go up until you find blending options. Or another way is just double click on the image and then this leads you to the, to the layer style area where you'll be able to find the outer glow. It's going to be like on the third bottom or however you want or however you have it as. And after you click on the outer glow, you see this check mark? That means it's selected. After it's selected, you have this little thing right here. It'll show you, it shows you how to, however you want to make your outer glow as. I'm going to show you what these are and what these do. With opacity, you can change the outer glow's transparency. You can lower it. And then it will have like no, it will be like, it will disappear. It's like nothing as if it wasn't there at all. Or you can erase it and then you'll see, you'll see the color. You can put it to 100 or like something a bit lower, like in the 80s or above. Noise, uh, what, what it does, it makes the outer glow have like a grainy texture. As you see right here, when I erase it, it has like those like grainy looking things right there. And, but it, and whenever you have it to zero, it does not have that at all. So you can just keep it zero if you don't want it or if you want it, you can raise it. Now this, this changes the color of the outer glow. I see I can put it to white or I can just put it back to purple. I'm just going to keep it purple for now just so you can see the changes and all. And now technique. I see precise. It makes, as what it says, it makes the outer glow more precise around the car, as you see, and softer. It's like just soft, not as much, but just keep it to soft. Now spread, as what it does, as what it says, it'll spread the outer glow. Whenever you raise it, it gets a, like more of a solid color around the car, the outer glow. And whenever you lower it, it makes it much more of a softer edge as you see right here. Now you can just put it to zero or you can keep it like maybe like in the 20s if you like. Now size, it's what it names implies. You can like change the size of the outer glow however you want. You can raise it, you can have it low or zero at all, like just have it none. But I'll put, I'll put it to like 120. You can have it however you want. Contour, um, it'll it's it'll just change the outer glow like the spread the size or whatever Like if I put it like if I lower the top right thing right here to down It'll have no outer glow, but if I put it all the way to the left right here It's like the spread it'll just make a huge solid hard edge around the thing And I'll put it in the center makes like in between But I'll just keep it as like like a straight line like this as it is Range is similar to the spread. Whenever there's zero range, um, it makes this hard, solid uh, color around the outer glow. It's, it's it's like the opposite of the spread. The zero range is like 100 of spread. But if you put it to 100 range, it, ha it makes the soft edge color, as you see right here. Oops, let me fix that. As you see right here. 100 so I'll just keep as 100 now jitter. I don't completely know too much I don't remember much, but if I remember it's similar to noise But it's used with two different colors. So if you're using two colors, I don't think I have any So I won't be able to show you it but um Whenever there's two colors, it'll it's similar to noise But it's as I said, it's only used for two colors but these are the, these are how to use the outer glow thing onto the image, on your image or selection. And thank you for watching.
and uh, see you next time.